Hi, dear students. Welcome back to Computer Science class. In our previous session, we have learned database, database management system, and file organization, or we can say what data storage hierarchy. Database means database means what database is an organized collection of integrated files, right, or interrelated files. And database management system is a software package that helps us to create, uh, insert, update, delete, performing all kinds of manipulations, right. And in data story hierarchy or in file organization, we have the elements, uh, character, field, record, file and database. And we can say what database is the topmost element or the highest element in the hierarchy. And today in this session, we have uh, three important topics for discussion. Need for DBMS, components of DBMS and advantages of DBMS. Let's look at each topic one by one, okay. We can start with need for DBMS. What are the needs? What are the needs for DBMS or setting of DBMS? in an institution or in an organization as a part of uh, the software, right? Okay, the main advantage or we can say what the main need of implementing or using the concept of DBMS is it avoids redundancy or it reduces the redundancy. We know we have two systems of storage or uh, man managing data, uh, file system and database management system. And the main problem with file system is data redundancy. Redundancy means the same data may be duplicated or will be duplicated at many different places and what is the problem with duplicating the same data in many different places it uh, what storage cost will be higher right and when we try to or when we implement the concept of dbms uh, data will be stored only at one place right only in one place so uh, the main problem with file system is data redundancy so here with database management system we can avoid data redundancy because it uh, stores data centrally, right? It organizes data centrally and maintains data centrally on a single machine and all other mach machines can use or refer to uh, the location where the data is stored, right? Yes. So database eliminate redundancy and inconsistency. You know what redundancy is? Duplication of data. And uh, we have seen uh, in, uh, when we consider our school, uh, our data, when we follow our file system, your data will be stored in many different places, uh, main office, front office, vice principal, principal, uh, staff rooms, okay, or in all those places, library, okay, yes. So uh, it, it leads to redundant data or duplication of data. Uh, and what is inconsistency? Inconsistency means, inconsistency means uh, when you update data, uh, when you have uh, what change your phone number and you have informed it to uh, your class teacher, your class teacher may fail to what uh, inform it to the main office. What happens? Uh, your important data will not be sent to you, right? Yes, because uh, your teacher failed to inform it, convey the matter to the what office. Okay, so it leads to data what inconsistency or invalid data, inaccurate data. Okay, that's what inconsistency is. But here uh, with database management system, we can avoid, we can eliminate data redundancy and data inconsistency. When we avoid data redundancy, data inconsistency will automatically be avoided. It's simple, simple logic, okay? Yes. Then works on centrally maintained database. We know a database management system works on centrally organized system or a machine, right? Yes. Then uh, these are some of uh, uh, the points. Increases competency, increases the productivity, okay? Increases uh, the way we do improve uh, the way we do things okay uh, where we perform things or simply we can say what improve the productivity productivity of the software or our doings okay then time saving it saves a lot of time because uh, everything will be updated will be done at a single place or even when uh, even uh, when we do change uh, in some other machines the change will be reflected in a single machine and that changes will be what affected in all other places okay will be what uh, resulted in all other places yeah then security security of information because that is stored in a single machine okay on centrally yeah that's a point then flow of information the flow of information will be very easy right yes so these are the uh, what needs for implementing database management system for an organization or for an institution uh, the main point is it eliminates data redundancy uh, then by eliminate what uh, data inconsistency then uh, stored centrally and maintained centrally maintained centrally means uh, all operations are done centrally right yes then uh, increases competency saves uh, time security of information then flow of information okay these are some of the points uh, comes under what needs for dbms okay next we have components of dbms different components so first we are looking at the components of dbs database system okay database system not database management system uh, here it is database system okay yes uh, first we have what 
first we have the database then database management system then database applications and end user now we can start with end user who is an end user end user is simply user who uses the system right who uses the system who uses the functionalities of the system uh, normally we are end users when we consider internet or any other kind of software normally we are end users we just use as a system we don't have to bother about the internal uh, working or uh, things uh, regarding the working okay underlying working of uh, the software so we look at only the working only what we need yes so we are end users okay then database applications uh, a special what software or special application designed for database that's it or we can say what database program that's what database database applications okay then database management system you know it's a software package used to uh, manage the database database management system software part and database is the hardware part and the final component is database okay uh, the place where we store data not only storing you know that okay we manage data okay so database is considered as the hardware part and database management system is a software part and database applications is also what is also a software part that's a program okay that's an application program then end user uh, who uses the system okay so these are the different components of database system then we are moving on to what uh, components of database management system okay database management system and these are the components users database application dbms and database okay and the same as we have discussed here and we can think of what uh, think of it as uh, the component of dbs or database system or database management system we are simply expanding the term okay yes so first it is users who uses actually we have seen only one user here end user and we have number of other users as well okay that is database administrator dba database application developer then finally end user okay yeah who is a dba database administrator database administrator is the what uh, the topmost position uh, managing the database okay database related programs okay he is uh, uh, the most qualified most experienced staff of a an organization or a company okay yes who will be highly qualified plus having uh, what a number of years of experience okay yes who is responsible for all types of uh, problems all types of things all types of operations related to the database he is a final authority okay that's it then application developer uh, who is a software programmer okay who develops application program who is a software programmer the software engineer who develops what application for database okay then end user who is an end user we all are end users okay actually uh, we we deliver the system or the, the program or the software to the customers right yes so they are the end users one who simply uses a system without have it have uh, any kind of understanding about what happens inside the machine or inside the database okay they look uh, at only the software part that's it okay how to use it how to use it for their purpose okay yes that's what end users are okay uh, at present we have end users and at, at the time of developing programs okay you can you will be changing your status to what application developer and after joining a company and having a years of experience you will you can become a database administrator okay yes so these are the different types of users database administrator application programmer or application developer and finally end users okay then are different types of services provided by the database management system or database system okay yes we have database creation database maintenance and database processing you know what database creation is uh, just before performing any kind of operations uh, even before inserting data element into a table you will have to create a table right yes you you are creating a table on a database so first process is creating a database first we are creating a database after that you can create tables on the database right then you can start entering values you can start modifying values you can start altering your table whatever whatever operations it is okay yes so initially you have to create the database so that's what database creation is that's one of the most important what Uh, services provided by the database management system or database system okay yes second one database maintenance what is database maintenance you know after creation of database you will be started uh, started entering values or what updating values or modifying other things right so all this must be managed perfectly all these things all these operations or manipulations must be managed what perfectly so it should be maintained properly otherwise what happens it will be uh, bugged right it will be having a uh, lot of bugs 
it, it won't be that easy for us to uh, rectify the errors okay here in the database as uh, we could in the case of front end right the interface okay so uh, you have to manage it uh, very smoothly and very perfectly otherwise it will be a problem later okay yes so database processing that's the third service you know what database maintenance is hope you get it okay after performing operations it should be managed what perfectly okay for example you're changing 95 to 100 marks marks uh, uh, a student to nine from 95 to 100 it should be updated right it should be maintained you have to you have to ensure it is updated right yes that's what database maintenance is and database processing you know how database is processed using queries using sql commands or mysql commands right yes that's what query processing is okay uh, database processing means uh, we are performing operations um, based on sql programs right using sql programs we are manipulating or we are doing things on a database and and that's what queries query or commands sql commands or uh, mysql commands or queries right so with the help of queries or codes we are managing or we are processing the database okay so these are the different types of services then we can move on to database application database application means uh, application program for the database right it can be personal it may be designed for a person then for a department for an organization for an enterprise for an organization or for an institution for or for company whatever it is okay that is database application can be designed for a single person okay for example uh, uh, medical shop you can, uh, we can we can have an example okay medical shop it may be designed for a single person right uh, only one person may be using that system uh, using that uh, software okay for entering uh, or for fetching details all those uh, kind of stuff okay so it may be personal for a single user and department for a company or uh, for a single department okay for a college department a physics department okay computer science department yeah so there may be more than one user okay they'll have to manage uh, enterprise for more users okay many users institutional or company based okay yes and it can be general purpose or customized it can be given general purpose given as general purpose meaning uh, there may be a lot of uh, what uh, uh, needed and unneeded means uh, needed programs and unneeded programs we will have uh, to bother only about needed programs okay but still there will be unneeded programs yeah then customize you can customize it uh, just uh, install your what only needed programs okay you can uh, avoid what extra storage of uh, having unneeded programs in your a machine okay yes it can be general purpose or customized okay so these are the different uh, points comes under database application okay personal it can be personal department or enterprise and it can be general purpose or customized okay yes then it is uh, dbms we, we have already learned what dbms is okay it's an application program or what it's, it's a software package used for the creation maintenance uh, what uh, insertion updation modification whatever it is okay whatever kind of operations we're performing in the database okay yes and finally database database is the hardware part as we know a database management system is a software part and database is the hardware part okay and collection of logical data and, and that's the actual place where we store the data the actual place the hardware part the the hardest where we store the data okay so these are the different components of database system or database management system okay we have users different types of users database administrator application developer and user and services creation maintenance and processing and a database application what it may be the personal department of uh, enterprise or general purpose of customized and uh, dbms and da data base okay yes now we can move on to advantages of dbms that's a very important uh, topic okay advantages of dbms as we know we have two systems of managing files using either using file system or database management system okay there are a lot of uh, disadvantages with file system and all those kind of uh, disadvantages can be controlled uh, to a very high extent using database management system and we are looking at the advantages of dbms here we have specific points we have 10 specific points okay let's read out all this first elimination of data redundancy data consistency sharing of data reduce programming effort enforce standards improve data integrity privacy and security economical backup and recovery and meeting enterprise requirements other than personal requirements okay yes so we can uh, look at one by one okay first elimination of data redundancy you know what data redundancy is duplication of data duplication of same data in many different places at many different places and what is the problem with uh, data redundancy it leads to higher storage cost right higher storage cost because we are doing we are storing the same data again and again as we have uh, seen in the case of our school uh, if you follow 
uh, file system your data must be stored in all the places 10 or 15 places okay the same data is repeated in many places what happens uh, what that your, your uh, storage cost increases right yes so that is what data redundancy is and it, okay using what database management system we can avoid redundancy how because in database management system we store data in a centrally organized machine right centrally controlled machine that we can consider it as a server machine and data will be stored only in that machine and every data will be stored only in that machine particular machine right and you will have so many machines connected to that machine that server machine and those uh, can be uh, treated as clients clients are connected to the server machine and uh, clients can access the data clients can use make use of the data stored at the server machine no problem okay but there can be hierarchy we can set it uh, okay in institution there will be always uh, there will always be hierarchy okay yes so uh, in database management system there won't be redundancy as we store data only in a single machine and all other machines can refer to or access the data stored in the server machine or at the server machine okay hope you get it then data consistency and the problem with data redundancy is it leads to inconsistency how as you've seen uh, when you change your phone number you will be informed it to your class teacher you may not be going to the main office right and it's 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 what it's um, uh, the duty of your class teacher to inform it to the main office okay sometimes what happens your class teacher may fail to uh, convey to what uh, the main office and the problem uh, with it is your uh, newly uh, the new mobile number will be updated uh, at your class teacher's document or data but uh, then the main office it will be the old one okay what happens uh, they use your old phone number for all your formal and informal activities right operations yes so it will definitely be a problem okay when they send something very very important related to your exam registration or any anything any any important things uh, related to your academics or non academics or whatever it is okay it may not be getting to your account to your mobile number because the it is still the all mobile number okay so that's a problem and that's what data inconsistencies inaccurate data right inconsistency means inaccurate data yes so here in database management system there won't be any inconsistency data will be consistent data will be accurate data will be valid how because data is stored only in a single machine right stored at a single machine and when you change it from uh, what happens okay uh, when we uh, change it to what our school to database management system what happens uh, when you uh, inform your new uh, phone number to your class teacher she will or he will update it and that updation will be reflected in all machines at the server machine and all other clients clients okay or client machines okay so there won't be any 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 mismatching of data any inaccurate data okay your new phone number your old will be replaced by your new so what happens uh, your new phone number will be reflected in all machines okay so that's what data consistency is so we can avoid data inconsistency okay here database management office data consistency then sharing of data as you've seen sharing of data means uh, data stored at a single machine uh, we can call it a server machine okay uh, it can what all other machines can share the data stored at the server machine as I told you there may be what hierarchy okay all users may not be able to access all information there will be hierarchy in every institution in every company there will be hierarchy for easy management right easy management of doing things okay working yeah so sharing of data it's a centrally organized system so all other machines all machines can share the data because it will be a part of network okay so all machines can share the data stored at the server then reduced programming effort reduced programming effort means uh, we do uh, take care of the database management system at the time of development as a separate thing right yes they do develop it and after that they will connect the front end and back end okay so uh, reduce programming effort instance uh, we use uh, SQL or MySQL or other uh, what uh, database uh, languages so they all the languages are somewhat very easy you know that uh, you have already learned it in plus one okay so uh, it uses commonly use English words uh, started with uh, a unique keyword all those kind of stuff it's very easy easy to learn right so reduce programming effort our programming effort can be reduced because of SQL and uh, we do uh, develop it uh, as a part of front end but separate okay yes then enforce the standards standards means format and documentation types okay uh, each institution will have their own formats of doing things even if uh, we are running an institution education institution we do follow our own standard right 
our own way of conducting exams, our own way of uh, doing uh, uh, activities, academic activities and non-academic activities. Meaning, each institution will have their own standard, okay, their own formats of doing things. Plus documentation, you know, our custom paper will be looking like uh, what, a kind of, right? And some, when we consider some other schools, it will be of another kind. This is our format, this is our documentation type. Uh, this is how we what arrange or organize things okay and others may follow the, some other standards so that's what standard is okay so using database management system it will be very easy for us to enforce standards enforce standards because we have to do it in only one place right yes then improve data integrity you know what data integrity is data integrity means simply uh, what validity and accuracy of data right validity and consistency of data you know what uh, accuracy is using uh, what database management system offers database management system offers data consistency using consistency we can ensure data what accuracy accuracy of data right yes so data integrity means accuracy and validity of data validity of data what is valid data data must be valid right for example uh, uh, your roll number must not be duplicated it's a, it's a validation process right and your data means your roll number must not be must not have duplication right that's a what validation check after checking validity after checking constraints after implementing constraints uh, what uh, in the case of roll number we can set it as primary key so there won't be any duplication right and uh, your marks another example your marks must not be greater than 100 right must not be greater than 100 we are setting it we are setting a constraint so just by setting constraints we can ensure data integrity okay yes then privacy and security security of data means what protection of data from accidental manipulations okay yes uh, accidental manipulations meaning uh, uh, everyone uh, cannot uh, get into the database and uh, make changes okay there will be accounts there will be usernames and uh, passwords okay uh, if I want to ch I want to do something I will have username and password only after authentication process I can get into the software and I can make changes okay so it will be what it's, it's, it's somewhat strict okay strictly followed system so that's what security is meaning uh, anyone cannot get into the software and can make changes okay it has a security uh, system okay yes so it protects data from accidental manipulation and it uh, offers some kind of privacy okay our data is protected our data is our own okay yes uh, there will be a hierarchy please do remember the term uh, what a hierarchy okay in oh, okay hierarchy means uh, I, i'll um, make it more clear okay in our school we have a uh, manager on the top principal vice principals academic secretary then uh, what your class teacher or your department head then your class teacher your subject teachers means okay and manager will have all the priorities all the privileges right all the privileges he, he or she could access everything in the database okay but when we uh, it comes to principal he may be dealing only with the academics and non academic activities they he or she may not be dealing with other kind of things right uh, other kind of managerial things yes and when we uh, what, move on to uh, vice principal, what happens? It, it is again restricted, limited. Uh, academic secretary, only academics, right? Uh, then uh, class teacher, only to your class. She or he may not be looking at other classes, right? Yes, that's what uh, level of uh, uh, elements in the hierarchy is. And of course, uh, you have to note it, uh, everyone cannot access every data, right? Yes. Then economical, economical in the sense, um, what uh, no storage higher storage cost because we have already reduced data redundancy and we have ensured data consistency so it is economical okay we don't have to store it in all other places uh, like in uh, the file system uh, data is stored only in a single machine and you just think of uh, if you store okay one t one one gb of data okay one gb of data uh, when we follow file system what happens one gb of data should be say uh, what's saved every place right should be stored in every place suppose there are 10 places what 10 gb of data and in the case of database management system we store data in only one machine only in one place so it, it caught what it says 9 gb right it says 9 gb we do store it in only one place it costs only 1 gb that's what economical is yes then backup and recovery suppose uh, there comes some hardware or software failure okay hardware failure or software failure uh, it is easy for us to what recover it okay it, it's uh, easy for us to recover the software because so in case of uh, software uh, or hardware failure what happens we could uh, uh, easily recover it okay using database management system okay we'll have, uh, meaning uh, we will uh, take the backup backup of uh, what we have done uh, in the day okay the day 
will be what taken as backup okay in some other place so it will be very easy for us uh, to reinstall the software and get the data back okay meaning using backup makes recovery easy okay backup makes recovery easy okay uh, we do take it on a daily basis we do backup the software on a daily basis or a weekly basis or monthly basis whatever it is okay if it is a very important software it will be very uh, it's, it's a good practice to take the backup on a daily basis okay yes that's what backup and recovery is and finally we have meeting enterprise requirements than individual requirements we do develop database management system or we do develop uh, database applications for an institution for an organization of a company we don't look at an individual uh, at the time of developing okay we do consider the entire what the system at the entire company okay all kinds of users a manager principal okay those kind of okay so it gives importance uh, not to what a specific or particular individual uh, it gives importance or um, what uh, it, it's uh, what to say uh, mode of focus okay uh, to a to the enterprise okay other than an individual okay so these are the advantages of dbms hope you get it uh, yes let's have a quick revision just close your eyes okay just uh, do um, revise with me okay yes so today we have uh, discussed mainly main three topics okay first need for the database management system uh, the main need is okay what uh, it avoids redundancy eliminate redundancy and at the time of re eliminate redundancy it could automatically avoid inconsistency right yes then uh, works on centrally maintained database and these are some of the points in, uh, increases competency uh, time saving security and flow of information and components of database management system or we can say what database system these are the components end user uh, database applications database management system database and all these are bi-directional right uh, we love uh, data flow to and fro okay yes then uh, users we have three types of users database administrator highly qualified high uh, experienced uh, uh, what who is responsible for all kinds of activities okay then application developer one who develops software or application programs for the database and end user finally uh, one who uses the system without knowing without having uh, worried on uh, the underlying working okay then services database creation creating the database database maintenance uh, that after performing operations or modifications it should be made in database processing that means query using sql commands we do things okay then database application it may be personal it may be departmental it may be enterprise and it may be general purpose of what customized okay then database management system software database hardware collection of logical data then uh, advantages of dbms uh, elimination of data redundancy uh, be, because data will be uh, what stored only in one place okay then in consist uh, what data consistency uh, if we uh, can avoid redundancy we could avoid data con what inconsistency as well okay then sharing of data only in one machine reduce programming effort uh, we do consider uh, separate uh, it's easy uh, when we use sql or mysql languages okay then uh, enforce for standards uh, documentation of formats uh, of an institution then improve data integrity accuracy and validity of data then privacy and security uh, what avoiding uh, um, what manipulation okay accidental manipulation or external manipulation without any uh, what authentication okay then economical uh, yeah uh, uh, no higher storage cost backup and recovery uh, hardware software failure okay then meeting enterprise requirements other than uh, individual uh, we do uh, focus on what enterprise other than a particular individual okay so these are the topics for the day i hope you get it okay just go through all these topics because it's very important uh, as a beginner or as a what a, a kind of uh, yourself okay as you are now okay your status okay yes so uh, this is all for the time being thank you thank you for watching have a nice day see you